What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Tropico 6. We're back with El Presidente and we are playing chapter number 5 in the tutorial. The last chapter. Finally. Can't wait for the real game to start. All right. Criminals and rebels. But not the boy sick at the thought of people not paying you taxes for any reason. But you never stop it happening if you don't learn about it, I suppose. True. Hidden roles. Oppressed citizens will become rebels and later join the guerrillas that are planning to overthrow you. Unemployment motivates people to become criminal, draining money from the system. Stupid. Unemployed people. Just kidding. Foreign spies planted by superpowers support the guerrillas. Rebels, criminals, foreign spies and worse. Their shared similarities that they hide their true identities at first. All are potentially harmful, so uncovering them is the first step if you want to deal with them. Watchtowers will randomly uncover the hidden roles of citizens nearby while security checkpoints check vehicles passing through them. Have two security checkpoints, have two watchtowers and uncover a hidden rebel and a hidden criminal. Security checkpoint. Well, I guess we put one down here. One here. Now we need watchtowers. Here. And... Oh, we have a checkpoint here. We have one down here. Quick build. Quick build. It is kind of cheesy, I must admit. Um, what do you need? You need workers. We don't have workers for you. Um, yeah. Guess what sucks, huh? Medium rebel threat. Okay. Why don't we have any workers? Hire foreign work. You don't... Oh, you do need workers. Guess we'll just hire some. That'll work. Jeez, our support is garbage. Rebels, apart from arresting, killing and bribing, you can also institutionalize individual citizens. Some interactions are only available for citizens with certain roles, like rebel leaders or crime lords. But be aware of the potential consequences. The target person or your family will remember what you did to them. Like criminals, rebels will never lose their role on their own, turning them into a ticking time bomb when they are roaming free. Have an asylum. Asylum. No, this isn't how I built it. Um, yeah, let's build the asylum. Special citizens. Rebel. What did he mean by that? Okay, so I can either institutionalize a black person or a woman, so I'm kind of damned either way, I guess. Institutionalize. Rebels are not arrested by the police as they are no immediate threat. At some point, though, if they grow in numbers, they will launch a punctuated attack on one of your buildings, setting it on fire. Afterwards, the assailants leave society and become guerrillas. When rebels are attacking, you can move the camera to the target via the according newsfeed message. Witness a rebel attack, open the military strength overlay. The attackers have been defeated. Well, 
I wanted to witness it, but the attackers have been defeated already. Military strength. There's none here. Or here. There's a bit at the palace. How did we defeat anyone? We have none. The Almanac provides an overview of the estimated strength and urgency of a rebel threat. Beware! If the guerrillas feel powerful enough to take on your armed forces, they will stage a fully-fledged uprising that aims to destroy the palace and end your rule. If your military forces are too strong, they might not even try, though. Military buildings either deploy mobile squads that confront attackers or deal with nearby attackers themselves with mounted ordnance. Open the almanac and inspect the data on the rebellion on the conflicts tab. Build watchtowers and build and have a barracks. Conflicts. Fret low. Watchtower. So I guess we will. Did we wait this? No, we didn't disappear. I mean, we already have a couple watchtowers. There's more don't hurt. And a barracks, yes. Right next to the palace. The rebels are starting an uprising. Depart despite your armament efforts. Their target building is marked with floating icon. This is also where your mobile troops are headed for defensive support. The defense will be coordinated automatically if there are multiple targets. You can manually mark one of the targets as priority to concentrate your mobile troops there. During times of war, tourists will avoid Tropico and civilians will flee from enemy troops. Alright, defeat the rebels. Where are the rebels? Power shortage network. Is a rebellion, Presidente. If these rebels want your attention so badly, they should make an appointment like everybody else. But we should not underestimate the dangers posed by violent, heavily armed guerrillas, even if they were trained by correspondence corps. Please wear a bulletproof wig for a few days, Presidente. Well, first we need more power. Increases job quality. Increases pollution. Eh. Yeah, where are we under attack? Here. Oi. Rebuild. Quick build. We are being attacked and our units are going to meet them here. We will win this battle. That sounds good. Penultimo is glad every day is not the revolution. Although every day the Earth revolves around its axis, so I suppose every day is a revolution. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Just remember, you can build security infrastructure to uncover those things people are trying to hide from you, like being criminals or rebels or bad taste in underwear. And when all else fails, the military is always ready to open fire during an uprising or Cinco de Mayo festivities. It is time for you to meet someone Penotomo does not consider a friend. Do not worry, President Day. He always has time for you, but do not trust him. He only loves money. Penotomo is the only one who loves you for yourself. Broker, you have a personal and semi-legal Swiss bank account, and there is one person that will never demand anything from you, nor will he judge you for anything you do or don't do. The Broker. The broker will politely come with a request once in a while, you can completely ignore those, you can even reject them without consequences. But if they are in line with what you are planning to do anyway, they are the best way to fill your Swiss bank account. Complete a broker what quest. What power if you don't exercise it? It'd wither away like a muscle you weren't using. Disastrous! Now, no, you don't want to lose any of the power you have, Presidente. You have so hard to get what you so clearly deserve. But you have so much power, I was wondering if you might spare a little cup of power for your neighbors 
who would like a slight chance to the law? Change to the law. Issue a nuclear testing edict. Edicts. Cold War. Nuclear Want testing. Quick buck? Superpowers would pay a tidy sum to conduct a few small thermonuclear tests. This is bound to be popular with the local residents, especially if you tell them radiation will give their skin a healthy glow and help them save money on haircuts. Everyone knows that this is the atomic age, and we wouldn't want Tropical to get left behind, would we? You receive $100,000? That sounds good. Decreases standing with each faction by 15. Hey, it's said, you know, it will be popular with the local residents. Raises the healthcare threshold at which citizens can die by 10. I don't care. All done? Wonderful. What's done is done. After all, no refunds. No, there's no need for second thoughts. Everything is completely above board. I just need to radio into my contact before the hour is up to avoid any unpleasantness. Uh, so much reading. You're probably wondering what you need a Swiss bank account for. Well, there are some things ordinary money cannot buy. And coincidentally, this is where a broker can help you out with as well. Once in a while, he will present you to you a selection of benefits from which you can choose one by paying him with money from your Swiss bank account. Like requests, the office of a broker are without obligation. The overview of the almanac permanently displays your current Swiss bank account balance. Activate any broker off. They call me the broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? Yeah, you can read that on your own. I came to see you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. What do you think? Now, I'm not saying you're my only client that would be unprof unprofessional, and I'm not naming any of my other clients that would be hugely unprofessional. But I'm saying that whoever my other clients are, if there are any, they wouldn't necessarily want to know I was dealing with you, and vice versa. Um, plus 7 Russia, China, capitalists, stimulate trade. What does this do? Can I read that? Generates a new trade route of Americas. Um, look at this! Support 0%. Yes. Maybe that helps a bit. This is terrible. Raiders. Sometimes you need to resort to unconventional means to help achieve your goals. This is when you use raiders to do your dirty work. Pirates, commandos, spies and hackers, all of them are children of a eras and have a dedicated building. While working, raiders generate raid points which you require to send them on missions. Once a mission is started, the raiders gather and depart from Tropico for some time and will, until they return successfully. Okay, pirate curve. Ach. I would say build it right here and we build a road what's this ranch quick build thank you I mean we got a lot of cash right so now we are generating raid points and when we complete the treasure hunt raid which is here First we need to generate points. Maybe this helps generating points quicker. I can't help but always build housing of some sort. Ooh, what's this? Seven of sixteen. Wealth required well off. 6 of 6, well for quite poor. I mean, people are moving in, so apparently there is some need for it, right? Hmm. 
no electricity. Do we need more electricity? No. Appear to have enough. Solar panel windows. Electricity minus. I think that's what it's using, and the network balance is shown here, so that's pretty good. Monthly income 144. We are soon to have all the rate points we need. And since we're just waiting, we can just do this. Yeah, already gave them the order. Yes, I, uh, I know. What do you want? Complete treasure hunt. Yes, I know. Here. Cool part is, you can see how far it is. Now we're just waiting. Are currently gathering when we are departing, executing the mission and then returning. Medium rebel threat. Well, we have zero percent support, so I've never seen this before. I've never seen zero percent support before. So that is pretty strong. They call me the broker. I guess I had another name once, but you know what names? Edict. Tax cut. Increase the approval of all citizens. Eh. Zero percent is all right. What is up with these shacks? More broke people. I hate when the people live in shacks. Move. Into these places. Modern mansion. There's so many cool buildings. Oh, I can't build wonders. Look at all these cool buildings. Maybe we don't need it, but you know. It's the last tutorial and we have a boatload of cash, so... Yeah, yeah, continue. How far are we? Pirates are returning already, that's good. So we will soon have this finished. I believe a baby will wake up soon, so I hope we can get this done quickly. Yes, this is early morning recording. For a change, usually I record in the afternoon or at night. But hey, raid complete. Heists. Best thing raiders can do is steal famous world wonders from all over the globe. Compared to ordinary raids, these so-called heists take more time to complete and always require you help out the raiders on the mission with resources or more time. Each world wonder has an individual and powerful global effect. Also, tourists just love world wonders. And even tropicans want to visit them at least once in their lives. Unfortunately, most wonders are associated with certain superpowers who will displease at being robbed. The different types of raiders have dedicated lists of world wonders, and each group can only steal one wonder per game. Start and complete the heist for Stonehenge. Heist Stonehenge. Treasure hunt. No, cancel that. Do this. Okay, so yeah, we are on four times speed now while this is going on. I 
think that is. <laughs> Asylum. One of twelve in detention. And a pretty good network. Balance. Oh, that's the electricity. Wage. Oh, I guess it only costs. I don't think they pay for being here. Oh, that would be pretty, pretty funny. So now we're waiting for this to get underway. We still need a few more raid points. And then I guess we steal Stonehenge. I'm not sure we have much education. If any. Why are you still living here? Move in here. Oh, it's empty. Cool. Very good. More cash. Thank you very much. So, how is this getting along? Pirates are departing. That's alright. Decreases the efficiency by 40%. But it does not decrease with fertility over time. Plantation gets 10% efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with a different crop. Running on the same work mode. So if you build multiple plantations of different crops and you use this, then it's actually it offsets the efficiency loss. Good to know. Look at all these ruins, temples, whatever. Interesting. Cool. I wonder if we could build up there if we really wanted to. So we didn't bother recreating this, but that's pretty cool. Thanks, game. Can we construct anything? Inspiring billboard. Increases the approval of each driver by. I mean, who wouldn't want that? I should place that here. Hey, look, our support has gone up. I mean, it couldn't have gone da any further down, so it's a good place to start. Relocate building. We were ready to hoard <laughs> the rocks, but suddenly there were druids everywhere. Seems we might have mistimed our plundering this time. There was some kind of super sources or equinox or ultravox or something going on when we arrived. I reckon we could have taken them, but the gang is superstitious about men in dresses. We've no choice but to wait on out the current moon cycle. Okay. What, my task is waiting? Are you serious? Of anything else fun to build? Nuclear program. Build bomb. Cost ten thousand and five thousand knowledge. So you acquire knowledge over time? Test the tropical bomb to increase the approval of all citizens and increase militarist and conservative standing by five. I guess we accumulate knowledge with us. Increases. Ooh. Yeah, maybe when we build one. At some point later in the game. It requires college students. We at least have a high school. The high school leads to the college, which is basically right next to it. 
I'm just kind of bored, so I'm building something, you know. And we're probably running out of cash, but oh well. I should build more things that we can sell, right? Like a fish farm. There are cool buildings in this game, compared to the last one. They did improve quite a bit. Oh, we don't have any workers with high school education. Or maybe we just need more... ranch, plantation... you. What am I doing? Sugar, cocoa, tobacco... Uneducated. We have a lot of uneducated workers, so... Ooh, that's a lot of people moving into work here. Yeah, continue the game. We're waiting. I hate that it automatically pauses. Quick build, quick build. Are you poor or... Yes, you are poor people. And now you can live where you work. That's great, isn't it? Or maybe we can sell more and not run out of all the cash we have. Wait 720 days. I guess we'll just sit here and wait, I guess. God, I hate sitting and waiting. Da, 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 da. At least music is calming, huh? I wonder if I turned off the copyright music in this game. Arr, Hope I did. For booty once more. Arr. Set sail for booty? Bounty, mate. Bounty. Everything is ship-shaped and with fashionable bristles, Captain. Not wrong with me nauticals now. We'd give you a round of applause, but you might have to make do with the sound of some one-hand clappings. Sure, mate. So... Why is this... Overwatering the grog. Jeez, this is taking forever. Disaster of disasters. The crew is sobering up. Worse still, they are asking questions about employment conditions and workplace safety. Delay height. No. Arr, set sail for boot. Why would I delay it even further when I'm already tired of waiting? Come on, please execute the mission. Taking forever, man. We are still losing cash, by the way. You guys are now moving in here, right? Yes. Good. Problem solved. And we still have 0% support. I'm doing so many great things for you, and you're just scoffing at me. Hey, we have 16 of 16 people living in the modern apartment. How about that? You should be happy. Did I forget something? No? Healthcare is terrible. 
Yeah, continue. Um, public services. Hospital. I guess a hospital can help with health. We've done it. The rocks rolled off the deck and onto the dock. Sounds good. Now none of me men are illiterate, so there are no written instructions for how to put the hench back together. But I drew some pictures. You just need to attach a little P to standing stone 1, using the diagram on page 8. Then attach ropes which were not included. Simple. Stonehenge, 10,000. Residente, as promised, I <laughs> do indeed gasp oh in my. awe at the effortless way in which you completed my workout. <gasps> cool. At least you like us. You're probably the five percent, right? You and all your other fake votes you submit. There's nothing more penultimo can offer you but the limitless depths of my loyalty. You remain a flawless specimen of leadership perfection. Eh. Eh. So let us waste no more time and get back to making you as rich and powerful. Eh. Eh. As only you could deserve to be President Day. Well, I guess that was fun. I liked it. I like that the tutorial gives you enough cash to try out some other things while you're at it. So. I hope you enjoyed it, and next time we will see each other with some missions. So until then, farewell. <laughs>